It's an election year, and the big question on everyone's mind, who will be our next president? Now, your mind is probably already made up. You know who you're voting for. But my next guest says there's a few mistakes to avoid when it comes to considering your vote. Here with more is Tom Wakefield. Tom, hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Donald Trump mm -hmm. continues to attract record crowds, record participation, record ratings. Record amounts of money huh. will be spent. Let me see that. Let me hold this for you. All right. <laughs> yep. He's spending lots of dough that he has himself. <laughs> record amounts of money will be spent on these campaigns again. And we don't want to be fooled into voting for the lesser of two evils <laughs> again. Okay. So I have for you the three mistakes to avoid okay. in considering your vote. All right. The first mistake to avoid is what I call the Willie Horton horror. Okay. Willie Horton was a felon that one political party put into a commercial to scare and terrify the other party's people and the undecided to vote for the party that made the commercial. Mm -hmm. I say the candidate the candidates who are making the most negative commercials are probably the candidate with the least to offer you for your okay. vote. The second mistake to avoid is the Max Headroom mistake. Okay. Now, Max Headroom was this floating head TV personality. That's all he was. He floated <laughs> all over the city on monitors. He was here and there. You can Google Max Headroom. It has some fun finding him okay. on YouTube. The way that applies to our politics is we have talking heads. We have the political pundits. These are the hired guns. They are paid to promote the people they are paid to promote. They make them look so good. They make them look like saints. This is the end all, the be all. You're crazy not to vote for these people. And on the other side, the people they don't like, they minimize them, marginalize them, make them seem evil, and we would be absolutely insane to vote for those mm -hmm. people. This relates to the first mistake. Mistake number three is the hanging Chad catastrophe. Uh -huh. This is where people would take the voting card and punch out the little <laughs> hole where uh, <laughs> Where the, right, where, right, where, who you're voting for. And then they were like, oh, did, did this vote count or did it not, right? Right. Yeah. And so when it came time to, to count the votes and there was this hanging chad, mm -hmm. these people who were voting counts, were they were traumatized. Oh, my God, does this vote count? What, right. the, uh, the, what was the intent of the person <laughs> thinking here? It was an election day natural right. disaster. Right. So the point of that is every vote does count. Even if you think, hey, my vote isn't going to count on one person. No, every vote does count. Exactly. Okay. This is America, one person, one Tom, vote. Tom, we're about out of time. Um, they can get your book on Amazon, Inspired to Vote. What, give me briefly what's going to be, what, what will they discover in your book? And the, what's inside of the book is uh, to help people sort out the nonsense from the sense mm -hmm. so that they can go to the poll booth on November 8th and go walk inside inspired to vote. Gotcha. Tom, thank you so much. Go online um, to Amazon. You can pick up Inspired to Vote by Thomas Wakefield. For more information, go online to inspiredtovote.com.